and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. Well, part of the Circle of Hecker. Uh, I'm on holiday at the moment and I'm in uh, Sydney. I'm in the Blue Mountains in Sydney, Blackheath to be, be precise. This is where my boyfriend grew up and he's showing me the sights and uh, I'll hopefully be able to show you a few of them, whether it's a few through uh, video or, um, or uh, still photography. Um, it's beautiful here, and um, we're out in the middle of out in the middle of the bush, and uh, in the Blue Mountains, there is um, it's mountain, so it's cold. So you can see I've got my little rug rugged up head, and um, it's not too cold today, but um, it has been cold enough that I can see my breath, which is pretty damn cold. Um, and um, as you can see, I'm out in the out in the bush. Um, having a little bit of a walk around and um, as you know I've said in my, in my previous videos that you want to you want to connect with nature you want to ground yourself you want to uh, get out of the rat race a little bit and uh, for some people that's hard when it comes to just trying to navigate some of the terrain here <laughs> uh, for some people that's hard because they live in live in the city and they may live in a, a heavily built up area but um, I know that most areas do have a park of some kind and uh, it's it's quite beneficial for you to be able to go to a park and uh, just sit and relax and uh, you know, lean up against a tree or um, you know, just put your hands and take your shoes off and put your feet on the ground and, and that obviously just grounds you and centres you and, and brings you back, and especially if you're in a hectic environment or you're, you find yourself um, being quite over here, over here, over here, oh, I've got to do this, 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 and your heart's palpitating and it's like, I've got all these things I've got to finish. Um, going, going somewhere where it's um, relaxing and um, hopefully you have some, some animals, um, birds are wonderful, I've been recording uh, lots of bird sounds this morning and uh, they're, they're wonderful, I'll get you to, to um, have a little, little bit of a listen a little bit later, uh, but um, it's all about making sure that you connect with, with nature again, and some people feel that they don't they don't really connect with their with nature. They don't feel that they're you know I'm a witch, but I don't I don't feel nature um, the way that other witches do, and um, that's fine. Um, but um, there is that 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 part of you that that needs to that needs to to come back to center. Like I've been saying in some of my previous videos, it's all about bringing it back to center. If you're too far over to one side or too far over to the other side, you're not you're not balanced and you're not you're not in your full power. You're not in your full uh, capacity. And when you're when you're in nature and you you ground and you center yourself, you find that you you come back to that uh, that groundedness, that centeredness, and um, you you relax and when you're relaxed you can command your your power your energy now just again just walking walking through some of the sun will come through and sometimes it won't so sometimes I'll look pasty and other times I'll look radiant and beautiful so just deal with it <laughs> oh okay coming through you can see that quite Quite bushy area here, lots of little little birds. I've been noticing that uh, lots of birds have uh, have come to to me on this holiday. Um, and what I actively did was uh, I just relaxed, and I envisaged my my heart chakra just expanding and, and coming out and my, and my body becoming more light and more um, my light body becoming more radiant and uh, you'd be surprised how many animals actually do stop and look at you and come up to you and and uh, and we've been doing a lot of walking and a lot of people just walk they don't actually stop and have a look at what's around them 
and and that's another thing when you're when you're focused on that goal when you're focused on that end that end uh, deadline uh, especially if you're living in the in the city in the rat race you don't look at what's going on around you 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 become blinkered you become blind to all of that and uh, you miss all of those things you know it's a old cliche stop and smell the roses sometimes um, and you do you have to stop relax recalibrate have a look around you and and uh, and see what's going on and you can um, you can you can reset and refocus and it's like well maybe maybe that goal that I was racing racing towards Maybe that's not really what I need to do at this time. Um, so it's all of that that uh, that comes with refocusing, resetting, and balancing. And nature is a wonderful way of doing that. We are we are natural beings. Um, we do uh, you know, we come back and we hearken from from nature and being able to to get back to that and and and. Uh, Refocus is is a good thing. Oh, coming back into the light. Oh. <laughs> Do I look all etheric with my squinty eyes? Anyway, uh, walking back towards my little chalet. We've got a couple here. They're a little bit close to each other for for my liking, but we're out right on the the edge of the the wilderness and. Uh, at night we get little possums that come come out. Haven't had a chance to to film any of them because they're quite wily. Uh, we put food out and then we go back into our our warm little place and then they the food disappears. So uh, <laughs> I need to to put on some uh, some ghost cam or something so I can uh, can get them. So as you can see, we've got uh, we've got the bush right on our doorstep and I'll just turn around and you can see that's where we are so our bedroom window opens onto the bush and you can hear the birds it's quite lovely back look this way So when you ground and you centre yourself and you get back to nature, you refocus and you and you slow down. And and I found that with lots of people that yeah, they're focused on the end goal. They don't they don't actually what is all those cliches? Don't see the wood for the trees, they don't stop and smell the roses, they don't they don't do lots of things that they, they could do for themselves and they end up burning out and and uh, and um, just falling on their faces uh, and it's the same with witchcraft as well you are always oh I've got to learn this I've got to learn this I've got to learn this and you forget well let's focus on the thing that I'm that I'm doing at the moment and see all of those possibilities there then I can focus on the next thing not focusing on the end goal of of acquiring all this knowledge um, and having to do it now because when it comes to let's go back this way when it comes to um, when it comes to knowledge, it comes with years. It comes with practice, and it's not going to happen all straight away. Uh, you're not going to have the mysteries of the universe straight away. It comes with doing it, and I've said this over and over again, but um, it's something that bears repeating because lots of people expect to be able to to do a spell straight away um, with with awesome results the same results that someone who's been doing it for years and knows every single thing about spellcraft knows how to focus their mind focus their will and um, and uh, that's not going to happen with someone who's straight away gets into witchcraft gets into spellcraft um, which is fine you know you have Certain people that are, that are that are naturals, and the first couple of ones, bang, bang, bang. But then they have that plateau, that that uh, you know, that, that die off when it comes to their uh, their spellcraft. And what's that? That is the fact that they've relied on their beginner's luck, as they say. Everyone that starts some kind of uh, you know when you play a game, and you know the first game you do, you win, but then the second one's like, oh. And third, ah, uh, that's because you're relying on that 
that initial gusto, that initial beginner's luck that dies off. And to counteract that, you need to have a, a form of practice. You need to be able to focus your will. You need to be able to uh, do all those things that, um, all those boring things that we keep telling you about meditation, about focus, about uh, keeping good notes, all of those things that be like, oh, do I have to? I just want to get into all the sexy spell stuff. I want to be able to, you know, I want to have, you know, that guy over there, I want him to love me. I want, uh, you know, I want a million dollars. I want, you know, I want to be the CEO of company and I don't even know about the company. You know, all of those sorts of things that people assume that a spell is going to be able to do for them. Um, and those things they can, but it's not going to happen straight away, especially if you're just coming fresh fresh into it and you don't have that focus you don't have that uh, strength of will that purpose and that comes with continually doing the work that strength of will comes with continually going over and over and over those things um, meditation um, and and having a, a regular uh, process uh, if you're haphazard and you're all over the place and you're actually just focusing on the end goal a lot of the times where I'm going to be this super amazing, um, powerful witch, yeah, that doesn't happen when you're all over the place and, and uh, telling everyone how super and amazing you are when out in the back, you know, there's no, there's no substance. So... Um, I think I just rambled all over the place there, so I hope that makes sense. And uh, I'm going to get back into this nature. I've got to, got to go for a bushwalk again today. I don't think I've done so many bushwalks in such a small base, space of time. So uh, we're going to the Fairy Dell, which would be interesting. It's not actually called the Fairy Dell. It's what my, my boyfriend called it when he was young, the Fairy Dell. So um, let's see how we go. So uh, merry meet, merry part and merry meet again. Blessed be. The media do this polarizing, pushing and pulling all the time. It is about opposites and polarizing opinion. And it is where the entertainment business is best. You get two polarized people into a room with a camera and there you have reality TV. It is an us and them, the division of thinking and the placing of labels on that extreme. 